Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn Prototype Inheritance. In the previous lecture, we learned the class Inheritance. Now we will take a brief look at Prototype Inheritance. In the previous lectures, we had learned what is Prototype and in that video, we had learned a small example which tells you how to create a prototype. If you don't know what is prototype is, then you can watch that video first and move on with this tutorial. Well, you know that object have a special hidden property prototype and JavaScript will access this property if the property and method does not exist. Suppose you specify a property to the object and want to access that property. If this property does not exist, then the JavaScript will move to the prototype and search for that property. You had learned this in the prototype tutorial, right? Using this example, we will understand the complete concept behind the prototype inheritance. Inheritance provide a reusability of properties and methods of existing objects. In the previous video, we learned the class-based inheritance. Now in this tutorial, we will understand prototype inheritance. To set the prototype, you need to specify prototype property proto. Using the proto property, you can set and get properties and methods of the prototype. Let's consider the following example. So if I just create an object here, so I will just select car is equal to and here we specify two properties wheel for and model Tesla. And after that, I will create bike object here. So I will just select bike is equal to and here we just specify only one property so i will just say cc 250 right now just after that i will just specify prototype property of the bike object so i will just say bike dot and here i will call the proto property so you just need to specify underscore two times and say proto here and then again specify underscore right and I will just print the bike object on the console. Let me show you the prototype property first. Here is your prototype property. Now let's access object properties and print on the console. So if you wanted to access bike property, then you can just say console.log bike.cc, right? Using this statement, you can access your bike property. Now you know that you can access object properties and methods using object name. But what if I say you can access the car object using the bike object also? Yes, you heard it right. You can access all the properties and methods of the car object using the bike object. Like this. So if I just say here console.log and say bike.will and then I will just say bike dot model then this is not an invalid statement if you are wondering how does this happen then let me tell you that we had specified a prototype property of the bike object so when the javascript execute the statement javascript will first check the object own properties if he does not find any existing properties there then the JavaScript will look at the proto property of the bike object and utilize it. Now here you can say car is a prototype of a bike object. And you can also say bike prototypically inherit the car object. So if car has more than two useful properties and methods, then you can access all of these properties and methods using bike object. So these properties are automatically available for the bike object. Such properties are called inherited, right? If you have a method in car object, then this method would be available to the bike object also like this. So if I just create a method here in the car object, so I will just specify comma here and say show. So this is the name of my method. And here I will just say console.log and specify a message so i'll just use backtick and say car model this dot model and specify comma here and say have this dot wheels and say wheel here right 
Now using the bike object, you can access this method. So I will just say bike dot show and specify parenthesis to access the method, right? So you can access the car object method using the bike object. Now you know that what is prototype inheritance. Let me tell you what is prototype chain. Now suppose if we have one more object here. So we will just get rid of these statements. Now in the bike object, if we just specify proto property of the bike object and if I just say here proto car and after that I will create a bicycle object here and just say let bicycle and in the curly braces I will specify one property so I will just say gear 5 now here we'll just specify bicycle prototype property so I'll just say proto bike right now here is your question can you access the car method using the bicycle object yes you can using the prototype chain you can access any properties and methods of the object so I'll just say bicycle dot show and after that I will just print this bicycle on the console to display the prototype chain. So when you execute this, you will get message on the console. This is all happen using the prototype chain. Let me show you. Here you can see the gear object has a prototype property. And the prototype property has its own prototype property. You can create number of object properties chain as per your wish. Now using the bicycle object, you can access any properties and methods of car and bike right that's it i hope you understand this lecture i have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic more quickly that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial